comprehensive news and sports. A roundup of the day's happenings, national, regional, international, all relevant, all important to you. The most comprehensive news in Trinidad and Tobago. We present the facts and you form your opinions. You'll never miss anything again. Aspire, Aspire TV, TV, online, online TV. TV, you'll never miss a thing again. Good afternoon, I'm Leanne Sinclair with your news on Aspire TV, Trinidad and Tobago. In a fit of rage, a man smashed a glass door at the National Insurance Board after staff told him his claims for insurance he suffered when bandits dropped him were not approved. This was the explanation 43-year-old Terence Gangaram gave to Magistrate Natalie Diop in the San Fernando Magistrate's Court when he pleaded guilty last Friday to maliciously damaging the NIB's door at Harris Promenade in San Fernando. Damage to the door was estimated at $4,500. Prosecutor Sergeant Vino Rahu told the court that around 11 a.m. on Tuesday, Gangaram, after speaking with a staff at the office, walked to a glass door and kicked it, causing the glass to shatter. He was held by a security officer and taken to the nearby San Fernando Police Station where he was charged. Gangaram, who was not represented by an attorney, said that three weeks ago there was a robbery at his Mayo home and he was chopped on the head, beaten and robbed. Diop asked if he had his medical records available and he said they were at home. Diop put Gangaram on $7,000 bail and told him to produce the medical records at the next hearing before she passed sentence. The case was adjourned to July 17th. And seven months after he was injured, when his parents' home collapsed during heavy rainfall, Baby Christopher Sahadeo Punilal has suffered a seizure at home. His parents Curtis and Christine are now frantically trying to raise $5,000 to do a scan on his brain at a private medical hospital. Christopher has been treated at the San Fernando General Hospital and has since been discharged but Punilal said he was told by hospital staff that the machine has not been working for the past two years so the scan could not be done at the hospital. Saying his son desperately needed the scan, Punilal said he was now in the process of going door to door to get assistance. Punilal said although his son had an emergency card, it took almost a day before he was finally admitted to the ward. During this time, Punilal said his son started to lose his sight. He added that once the scan is done, doctors will be able to monitor the electrical activity of Christopher's brain. Anyone wanting to assist Punilal can contact him at 3803606. And Sean Duncan went to KFC to buy three pieces of chicken and it will now cost him more than $12,000. Duncan got into an argument while at the library corner San Fernando branch of KFC and after being escorted outside by security guards, he smashed a glass pane valued $10,242. 38-year-old Duncan, a temporary laborer, was charged with maliciously damaging the pane. In the San Fernando Magistrates Court on Monday, police prosecutor Cleon Sedan said at 12.20 a.m. Constable Charles was on foot patrol duty with other officers when a security officer stationed at KFC Lapi Plaza made a report to him. Charles saw the glass broken and the security guard pointed to Duncan who was walking along Mokorapo Street in San Fernando. Before San Fernando Magistrate Alicia Shankar, an apologetic Duncan said he was a little intoxicated and stressed out. He explained that he went to KFC to order a three-piece dinner special, but was escorted out of KFC after an argument with a friend got heated. Duncan was fined $2,000 for the malicious damage, and he was given two weeks to pay the fine or serve six months hard labor. He was also ordered to compensate prestige holdings in the sum of $10,242 before October 30th. I'm Leanne Sinclair, and that's a look at news on Aspire TV Trinidad and Tobago. Aspire, Aspire TV, TV. Online, online TV, TV. you'll, you'll never, never miss, miss a, a thing, thing again. again.